wanting to improve your immune system? I'm Dr. Kez, Doctor of Chiropractic, and I'm gonna take you through five acupressure points that can help improve your immune system. What exactly is acupressure, you ask? It's very similar to acupuncture, but we use pressure rather than needles. So it's something that you can do safely in your home. Also really good to do on your kids to boost up their immune system as well. Let's show you how to locate those points. The first point is called spleen six, and you need to find that on the inside of your leg. Find your ankle bone, and then put four of your fingers above that ankle bone, and then drop down a little bit towards the table that you're sitting on and you'll feel there's a little depression in there that you can rub your finger on. It's often quite tender, so just be mindful of this. We're gonna get you to rub that in circular motion with a, with a firm amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. This is going to affect your spleen and your stomach, so it's really good for increasing your digestion and because of all of those great bacteria within your gut, it's going to boost up your immune system. Point number two is called stomach 36 and it is found just below your kneecap. So locate the bottom of your kneecap, four fingers again, and find where that point is on the outside of the knee. Locate yet again another tender point there is really good. It is one of the most powerful acupressure points to boost your immune system. It just so happens it has an added bonus. It also calms you down a lot and increases your energy. So just imagine how many people should be walking around the shopping centers rubbing this point in their knee to calm themselves down. The third point is called lung seven. This is found on the outside of your wrist. So find the wrist crease and move back towards your elbow a little bit and you'll find a little bony point there. Slide a little bit further than that towards the elbow and you'll find yet another slightly tender point. This point here, as the name suggests, affects your lungs, which is critically important when it comes to your immune system as this is exposed to the outside air. What we need to understand with this point, it is not only a preventative point, but it's also really good if you do start to have the signs of a cold or flu. Fevers, chill, sore throat, and coughs. These types of things are really affected well by using this point. Point number four is called large intestine 11, and it's found at the end of your bent elbow crease. This point is used to increase the digestive system, obviously large intestine 11, because this is boosting the immune system from within the gut. The fifth point is kidney 27. It's found just below your collarbone and across slightly to the outside towards your shoulder. This point can be really sore, people, so just be mindful of that. Push it to within tolerance. This is really good for us upper respiratory tract issues. So if you've got any coughing, wheezing, asthma issues, this particular point is really good to help eradicate those as well. But given its relationship to the lungs, it's really good on boosting your immune system. Given the current health crisis, we recommend to do these points twice daily, maybe in the morning when you wake up and before you go to bed at night time. Under normal circumstances, however, we'd only recommend you do them when you feel like your immune system needs a boost. What we do recommend is that you start at the bottom and work your way up the way that we've shown you those five points, and it's really important to do them on both sides. One side is probably like to, likely to be more tender. That's quite normal. It's really important to do them on both sides. We apply pressure for about 30 seconds to a minute on each point. Acupressure points are just one way that you can boost your immune system. If you've got any tips or tricks on how to boost your immune system, pop them in the comments below so that other people can benefit as well. I'm Dr. Kez, and thank you for having me on your therapeutic journey.